This year, we're upgrading our engine dyno, starting with the cell itself. First, the exhaust fan ducting was removed, and using a wet saw, a 4x5 rectangle was cut for the air inlet vent. Then the exhaust fan was pulled very carefully. The new exhaust fan is larger, so the exhaust outlet was cut to match the inlet. Four feet tall by five feet wide. Finally, panel by panel, the old dyno cell was dismantled. Questmark laid down their thin mill coating, which is a high performance floor product that offers excellent abrasion and chemical resistance. The perfect choice for a dyno cell. They finished it out with decorative flake and cleared it with a semi-gloss top coat. Tons of cool packages show up on our loading dock, and this is one of the coolest. The Soundmaster Dino Cell arrived carefully packed in a rather substantial shipping crate. So once you receive your test cell, you can uncrate it, and you're gonna start with your, your floor and your foundation. Once you have the floor channel down that's already pre-cut, all of our products and materials are pre-cut and pre-assembled uh, where they can be. You're going to level up your, your floor track, and then you're going to start your construction with the panels. And it's really a good modular package where we give you a full set of design drawings. Prior to us creating your test cell, you actually get to approve your, your test cell. With the track installed and leveled, the wall panels drop into position. They are only four inches thick, but perform comparably to eight inch thick concrete block filled with sand. The panels have an STC50 rating. The sound level outside the dyno cell will be roughly 40 decibels quieter than the level inside during engine testing. More important, the panels, doors, and walls are ballistic rated to protect operators and observers in case of major engine failure. Engines do come apart. It's just reality. The test cell is going to be a uh, double wall construction. Uh, typically in the engine dynamometers, it's going to be a hard interior wall, hard exterior wall. That can capture a lot of objects, things that come apart in the engine. Because the test cell is modular, it can be manufactured in about three weeks, and noise barriers can install the cell in just a few days. Also, it can be modified or even moved to a new location if needed. We had a special request for our dyno in the form of an oversized door in the side of the test cell. We wanted plenty of room for engines and production gear and an oversized window to give us another angle to observe the engine during dyno runs. This was actually built specifically for you guys, so you're kind of the first to get this size. Um, it's hopefully something we'll have in the future for a lot of other customers because I'm pretty impressed with it. It's a six foot wide by seven foot tall door. It's a single leaf door, which is obviously unique in that for the dyno test cell. The inlet duct brings in fresh outside air, which flows across the top of the engine to keep it cool during testing. Here's a look at how the air flows through the cell. The test cell has a plenum with a powerful fan that draws in fresh air and evacuates heat and exhaust gas through an enclosed exhaust stack. Thanks to an exhaust fan, which moves 30,000 cubic feet per minute, the system exchanges all of the air in the room 10 times a minute or more. Beyond the exhaust fan is an industrial silencer, which reduces the sound level transmitted to the outside air. In this test cell, we also have an air inlet silencer that's designed for your combustion air. You can draw your combustion air directly from your shop, which is a much more consistent location to draw your airflow from. And with the test cell all buttoned up, we'll turn our attention to the dynamometer. All that's left now is to make the first dyno run with our new setup. Okay, so right away, noticeably quieter. You like by a bunch. That's much great. quieter. Usually when we start the engine, a bunch of people will come running back because they know we're running, so uh, I kind of like that it's, you know, we're a little bit more secretive now. So. You can always open the door and fire it up. They'll come <laughs> yeah. back. All right, you guys ready? Let's do it. All right. Make some noise. I think now that we have a, a, a running dyno, uh, we get, we're going to make some power. So now thank it's, you. it's time to go in there and make more. Power. It's time to go in there and make some more. You're right, man. Thank you very much. Thanks, I'm going to fire it back up. For more information on anything you've seen today, visit PowerNationTV.com.